Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm making this map of internet connectivity in 1968. And I'm starting out with this world countries polygon layer. I'm gonna open the symbology for this. And instead of single symbol, I'll choose graduated colors. I'm gonna make a choropleth map. I'll change the default symbology field to Internet Connectivity 1968. Now you never want to map a total in a choropleth map. We should normalize it by something. In this case, the internet connectivity could be normalized by the underlying population, which I can do easily here. There. Now we've got the rate of internet connectivity per country. Now natural breaks is the default method for classification, but I'd like a easy to understand legend with very regular intervals. So I'm gonna choose equal interval. There, this is much better. I'm done with my symbology, but now we're showing a normalized choropleth map in a projection that's not preserving area. That's kind of an unfair treatment geographically. So let's change this projection to something equal area. I'll open the map's properties, and with the coordinate systems tab selected, I'll search for the word equal, and I'll choose equal earth. Equal earth is a global equal area projection. Now I've got a lot of wasted space in my layout. I'll activate this layout to enable geographic navigation, and with my right click mouse action, I'll drag this towards me, and then I'll exit the active navigation. Now I need to add a legend for my map. With this layer selected, I'll choose the insert tab and I'll choose legend. And then I'll just click anywhere on the map. The legend automatically draws for me. I'd like to modify this a bit, so I'll open its properties. And I'll show the properties for the legend items. I don't need to show the layer name because that's obvious. And then I'll go back to the main properties. You know what, now that I'm looking at this, I'd like to manually change some of these things. I'll just convert it to graphics. And now these are disconnected graphics that I can just edit manually. And this looks like a good place for my title and legend. Now it can be a little bit overwhelming to use only color because our brains have to look at all these colors and key them to the legend. If you can, sometimes it can be helpful to label your features directly. With the layer selected, I'll choose the labeling tab and with internet connectivity in 1968 selected, I'll just activate labeling. And now I have a very clear representation of the internet connectivity in 1968. 